There is no denying that the Indian film industry is a powerhouse of talent. Over the years, a number of independent, daring filmmakers have emerged, ushering in a new wave in cinema, trying and working hard to rid Indian cinema of its commercial entrapments that has all but led to a steady decline in the quality of films we produce and watch. Today's list will cover directors who are unique in their style of movie and have capability to change the face of Bollywood for the international viewers. These directors are defying boundaries and framing new rules to the game. Some of their best works even placing Indian cinema on the global scene. And guys, if you want to be a part of meaningful, unbiased analysis and interesting list, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So without further ado, let's talk about these great directors. Hansel Mehta seems to have found his groove in the last five years, tackling thrillers and dramas that balances between commercial cinema and subjects usually considered ground for indies in India. His 2012 Shahid, following the tragic true story of a human rights lawyer, earned him the Best Director title at both the New York Indian Film Festival and India's National Film Awards. And his 2014 City Lights, an adaptation of the British thriller Metro Manila, also screened at South Asian Film Festival across the US. But it was his 2015 Aligarh, the heart-wrenching and alarming real-life story of a college professor suspended for his sexuality that caught global attention, fetching critical and audience applause from Dallas and London to Vancouver and Busan. What sets Debakar Banerjee, a league apart as a filmmaker, is his in-depth understanding of his subject. He doesn't isolate his character and stories to function only in the cinematic space. Instead, he creates an elaborate map, a three-dimensional reality for his story to exist in. Instead of passing a moral judgment and creating cinema that condemns Banerjee as a filmmaker simply shows and it is the showing that becomes his voice. His decision as a director for someone who surrenders to his stories so completely using contradiction and a fine understanding of people to create such hard-hitting humor and tragedy must be celebrated more often. Gosla ka Gosla and Oi Lucky Lucky Oi are some good examples. Each film suddenly distinguished from the other in terms of themes and subject matter, yet receiving the same masterful treatment is testament of his talent. His films dealing with seemingly simple themes, Motwani fashions himself in handling dramas with elegance. His debut film, Uran, was a revelation in itself, earning a cult status today. His second film, Lotera, is sheer poetry on screen. Trapped, released in 2016, a survival drama is gripping to say the least. None of his films have, however, received the kind of commercial response you think they should have. But that does not hinder his dedication to the art. If you look closely, the story he chooses to tell aren't those of heroes but of characters who become the hero through the events of the storyline. Sacred Games that released worldwide recently has gathered tremendous applause. A great drama that Indians can finally call its own. While Bollywood hasn't produced many engaging thrillers to begin with, any list enumerating the best Hindi film thrillers is bound to have this man's name. Drenched in moody, gruesome, stylish shots and slickly edited, his films often trend to handle darker themes. Looking at his filmography, it may be argued that Sri Ram Raghavan is the closest we have to the film noir today. He made a stunning impactful debut with the Ek Thi in 2005 and followed it up in an even better way with Johnny Qatar, Badlapur and Andhatun. Honestly, best thrillers to have come out in the last two decades. The talent that he is, his films need to be exposed to a wider audience. Anurag Kashyap is the king of indie Indian cinema. 
with a cult following in India and on international festival juries abroad, he is a restlessly prolific filmmaker, directing, producing, writing and acting in a range of films, including Hindi and Tamil titles and international co-productions and backing a raft of new voices. Many of his films stylishly examine the darker reaches of the human psyche and he has a taste for brutal violence. His strongest film includes Gangs of Basipur, a sprawling coal mafia saga, Ugly, a dark thriller about a kidnapped child and Raman Rako 2.0, a savage cop criminal thriller based on a real-life serial murderer, all of which were at Khan's film festival. He may not always be commercially successful, but expect him to always take the audience to places on the map they would never even heard of before. I always try to keep violence off screen, but I don't like to camouflage the violence with, with any kind of a I trust that people can imagine the worst. People always imagine the worst. So I leave it a lot to people's imagination and that's also to make them feel uncomfortable. Well, that was the list guys. Let's all hope that these directors will pick new and original projects in future and will give more meaningful cinema to the nation. Thank you for watching and do comment if I miss somebody. See you guys in the next list. Till then, have a good one.